quite is this question here. It says uh, manufacturer notes their items have a normally distributed lifespan with a mean of 10.8 and a standard deviation of 1.3. So as soon as you see that it has a normal distribution, you're going to want to draw this funky bell-shaped curve. You're going to get tired of drawing these by the end of the course. I guarantee it. So we're going to put the mean right in the middle. That's going to be 10.8. I'm just going to write sigma down here so I know it is 1.3. It says the 6% of items with the shortest lifespan will last less than how many years? So the bottom 6%, I'm just going to draw a vertical line here, call that X. I want to know what value that is that cuts off the bottom 6% or 0 0.06. Okay which leaves 94% above it, but all we care about is the 0.6 below it. So when you have, when you have the, the, the value, you're looking for the probability, if you're looking for probability, I'm right looking for prob. Whoops. You want to use normal CDF. When you have the probability, like we do here, we're looking for the value, you're going to want to use the inverse normal. Okay. So I'm going to go to my calculator. I'm going to go to uh, distributions. Inverse normal right there. Now, once the area, the important thing to know here is that when you're looking for this, if you're giving the area, it always wants values to the left. I'll explain what that, the importance of that in just a second. Because right now it's straightforward. The area to the left of my value is 0 0.06. My mean is 10.8. And my sigma is 1.3. I'll hit enter and I get, okay, that value right there that cuts off the bottom 6% is 8.77 or 8.8. .8. Went round into one decimal. What if I said I want to know the value, we'll call this x2, that cuts off the top 12% or 0.12, the top 12%. Well, the, problem, the, the process is the exact same, except I told you a second ago that when you go to inverse normal, this area is always referring to area to the left. So if 12% is above this thing, that means it's going to be messy, probably. Like that. That means 88% is below. So I'm not going to use 0.12, I'm going to use 0.88. Everything else stays the same. You see, now I get a number higher than 10.8, which makes sense. If I used 0.12, I would get a number lower than 10.8, which would make sense. So this number here would be 12. Okay, that's really all you have to remember. It's just inverse normal and always use areas to the left of the value you're looking for.